Hello, dear students. Welcome to the Quantum Guru. Let's see this question of electromagnetic induction from J Advance 2019. In this question, there is a conducting wire in the parabolic shape. This wire is a conducting wire. Its shape is parabolic. Question is y is equal to x square. And it is moving translate. Uh, it is translating along x axis with a uniform velocity v naught like this. And this plays in a non-uniform magnetic field. This this is towards us along positive z direction, and this field is varying with y as uh, b naught one plus y by l beta, v naught v naught l beta are positive constant, and delta phi is the potential difference difference between the ends of the wire. Then out of the these four, which of the options are correct? There can be more than one options correct. So let's try to. Understand this. Suppose so, oh, this is translating along this direction, uh, this V. And uh, let me uh, just name this point as a A. So we have to find the potential difference between O and D in the option A and B, and some other thing in the option C and D. So C. So what I want to do, I want to make a one complete loop. Like uh, suppose this point. If I drop a perpendicular from A to Y axis, suppose that point is B. So I am uh, joining a conducting wire from A to B and also from B to O. So now I have this uh, uh, conducting loop OAB. Uh, this is enclosing an area like this. So I just want to inquire whether due to translation, uh, flux through uh, flux through this loop is changing or is remain constant. So see, uh, see the variation of magnetic field here is along the y-axis. So if I take some element, a very small element like this, uh, whose um, height is from y to dy, so at all these points there is a same magnetic field because uh, magnetic field is a function of y. So if this loop translates here somewhere here it comes here so magnetic field at all these points is not going to change because uh, at this one y there will be one magnetic field obviously area is also not changing so in that way the total flux through this loop is not changing but had this loop over me moving like along this direction so then definitely the flux would have changed because now the uh, at different y there is a different b so but as it is given the question it is moving uh, parallel to x-axis so flux through total flux through this loop is not changing and what does that mean that means that uh, there is no net emf induced uh, in this loop no net emf doesn't mean that emf is not induced on various part but there's some is zero so suppose uh, the EMF or the voltage induced in the part OA is even like this and the polarity will be uh, like that, that can be checked. And the EMF induced in this part is say like this uh, E2 and uh, there will not be any EMF induced in the part AB because uh, the, uh, that part is, that whole loop is moving parallel to that part AB, so there will not be any EMF, so EMF will be induced in the part OA and OB. And because there is no net EMF, so from the KVL E1 will be equal to E2. So if I want to calculate potential difference in the part OA, that will be same as the potential difference developed in OB. And that will be actually easier for me to calculate. So I am going to calculate E2 and that will be out my E1. So here, if I go at a height y from O and uh, take a very small element of thickness, say dy, and this part is translating. So because of translation, there will be a very infinite, really small battery, induced battery, I can put like that, and that EMF is say d2. And this is moving with velocity v, it is at the local magnetic field b there. So d2, d2 will be trans motional lemma formula is a VBL. So V and the local V there, L is the dy, put the value of B, value of B is B naught, uh, one plus Y by L power beta 
and then dy. So if I integrate it, uh, e two v b naught. I'll take outside inside the integration one plus y by beta divided by l by beta and uh, dy. And this integration I have to carry out from where to where from zero to l. So zero to l, and this integration will give me uh, v b naught. Integration of 1 is L and integration of this part I am doing directly. So that will be how much uh, L power beta plus 1 divided by L power beta and then beta plus 1 like that. So that thing on simplification L power beta plus 1 divided by L power beta will be only L. So this will become V B naught. Uh, I can take L outside. So one plus one upon uh, beta plus one. That is the EMF. And E one is equal to E two. So induce EMF or voltage in the parabolic wire is uh, E one. And this E one I am writing here. And that E one is actually written here is. Uh, delta phi. So this is delta phi. So now if I put uh, beta is equal to 0. So if I put beta is equal to 0, so that will become V B naught L for beta is equal to 0. That is option A. So in option A, uh, delta phi is asked at beta is equal to 0. And I am getting answer V B naught L and that is not answer. So this is incorrect. And if I put beta is equal to uh, 2 for uh, beta is equal to 2, that will be how much? 1 by 3 plus 1, I mean 4 by 3. So that will be 4 by 3 V B naught L. And this is option option b is correct so option b we got correct option now they ask that um, uh, let's see option d delta phi is proportional to length of the wire projected on the wire you can see that so the same thing i, I have done here suppose that this is the wire and delta phi whatever i am getting delta phi is the v b naught l 1 plus 1 upon beta plus 1 and this L is the projected length of this wire on the y axis, and that is L. So, D option is absolutely correct. And now, uh, the same way, if they are saying that uh, if in place of this parabolic wire, uh, we want to replace another wire, y is equal to x initially of length uh, root 2L. Root 2L. In place of this, if we uh, suppose y is equal to along y is equal to x, so suppose this line is along y is equal to x, something like this, say uh, one not like this. Y is equal to x means making an angle 45 degree from the x axis, like this. So this is y is equal to x making 45 degree. Length is root 2L. So this length is root 2L. So it's projected length. Uh, we have just decided that the delta phi is proportional to the length of the wire projected along the y-axis. So if this is root 2L, so its projected length along y-axis is how much this projected length along y-axis is L. And the projected length of this part, uh, this is the wire. This is the wire. And in place of this wire, if I put this straight wire, both have the same projected length L uh, on the y-axis. So they will have the same voltage developed between its end. So uh, we can say that this option is also correct. So we got three options correct. That is a B, C and D. Thank you.